Now, all new at 530. You've probably noticed while out shopping, items you're looking for are either in short supply, not available at all, or you have to settle for an unfamiliar brand. As CBS 4's Hank Tester reports, the supply chain slowdown impacts us all, and nowhere is it more evident than service stations that repair cars and trucks. The supply chain slowdown impacts everyday life, evident right here at Red Bird Exxon, corner of Bird Road and Red Road, Miami. Before the pandemic, we were able to get parts in a matter of a day or maybe even the same day. The station's the go-to gas and repair location for folks in South Miami and Coral Gables. No one's immune from the part slowdown. And where are those hard-to-get parts? Stuck in Chinese ports. And then when the container ships arrive on America's West Coast, hung up again. Ports backed up, labor shortages, dock workers, truck drivers. And then once at the warehouse, you're looking at a nationwide problem. There's a parts delivery person you're looking at right now finally getting parts to a service station in Texas. Same story in Miami. Deliveries are getting very complicated. The companies that we're dealing with, they have problems with drivers and all that. And the impact of the global semiconductor shortage, production of new cars and trucks curtailed, which has led to customers purchasing used cars or keeping old vehicles longer, which they need repairs impacted by the parts shortage. And that makes our job very difficult because we have the car sitting here for a long time just waiting for the part. Auto parts, a $300 billion industry, a major economic impact, now with a kink in the system. Tires and spark plugs, not a problem. Beyond that, specialized parts like unique oil filters, gaskets, they are. The regular parts, they're okay. But when it goes to a part that it is not, uh, that they don't have it in stock and they have to order it from a main warehouse or something, that's the one that is very difficult. And the reaction from customers to the auto parts issue? They need the car and we understand the situation. And sometimes they don't understand our situation. These cars all waiting for parts. When's this supply chain dilemma going to end? No one seems to have the answer. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.